गाइस दिस इज मालिंगी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंगी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट पॉपुलेशन डायनामिक्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट पॉपुलेशन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट पॉपुलेशन डायनामिक्स डायनामिक्स मींस समथिंग व्हिच इज ग्रोइंग so we have two growth models exponential growth model and logistic growth model first let's talk about exponential growth model so this type of growth model is not very much possible in our practical life this model says when the resource is unlimited there is no predation or competition species shows exponential growth so this is weird right can you expect unlimited resource no stress no competition in your life however we have to understand the model suppose the population size is capital n that means the total number of individuals in a population is capital n now birth rate that is small b is equal to natality divided by the population size so we can denote natality by capital b and population size is capital n so in the last lecture we have seen what natality is so natality is basically just the number of births so in this way we can calculate the birth rate so the birth rate is is equal to number of births divided by population size so capital b is equal to small b capital n because if small b is equal to capital b by n that means capital b is equal to small b capital n simple mathematics again death rate small d is equal to mortality by population size so we can denote mortality by capital d and population size is capital n again in the last lecture we have seen what mortality is so mortality is just the number of deaths so the link is in the description box if you want to see that last lecture you can go through now small d is equal to capital d by capital n so capital d is equal to small d capital n again this is the simple mathematics so dn by dt is equal to b minus d right because dn is equal to change in population size so we can calculate the change in population size only by this means that means the natality minus mortality then only we can get the change in population size and dt is equal to change in time so dn by dt is equal to b minus d that we have seen and we have calculated capital b is equal to bn and capital d is equal to dn so dn my dn by dt is equal to bn minus dn again we can take in common so dn by dt is equal to n into b minus d again this is very simple mathematics now let 
b minus d is equal to r then dn by dt is equal to nr. So r is the intrinsic rate of natural increase. Now exponential or geometric growth results in a j-shaped curve. You can see this red curve is for this model. So it is like j right like this. So when we plot capital N in relation to time t we can get this graph. So this is the this is the curve. So in the x axis we have taken time t and in the y axis we have taken uh, population density or population size that is capital N. And as this is the exponential growth, we can see this rate curve that the population size is continuously increasing, right? It is continuously increasing depending on time. Hence, it is exponential growth or geometric growth because it is continuously increasing. Now, what is this k? So, I will explain what is this k in a moment. So here we have seen that this exponential growth dn by dt is equal to rn. This is this red curve. It has the j shape. Next talk about logistic growth. So logistic growth is more realistic. No population of any species in nature has at its unlimited resources to permit exponential growth, right? This leads to competition between individuals, right? Eventually, the fittest individual will survive and reproduce. So in nature, a particular habitat has a limited resource that can support a maximum possible number of individuals beyond which no further growth is possible. That is called carrying capacity. K. Okay. Suppose we have an area of, suppose this is the area. Here the area is 100 kilometer square, right? Here and here we have this 100 kilometer square. This area, suppose it can support only 10,000 individuals. It can be bird, it can be insect, it can be human. So its carrying capacity is 10,000. If it crosses 10,000, individuals will start to compete and they will die. Some of them will die, some of them will survive. So this is the reality. You cannot expect unlimited resource. So the carrying capacity is very much important to consider. In case of exponential growth, we didn't consider this carrying capacity. We thought that the limited resource was not there. It was the unlimited resource. So if we plot this n in this y axis again in the same way and the time t in the x axis in the, this case we will get the sigmoid curve. See this one. This is sigmoid curve. This is S-shaped curve. This is called sigmoid curve. So this type of population growth is called Verhulst pearl logistic growth. So we can see that initially we have the lag phase. This is the lag phase, right? This is the lag phase where population growth is slow. 
since initially we have few individuals then we can see the accelerated growth so this is the accelerated growth very high growth this time then the growth is you can see the growth is reducing right it is reducing and finally when the population density reaches the carrying capacity this is the carrying capacity line this line is carrying capacity line so when the population density reaches the carrying capacity the growth becomes very much stable it is a straight line right so we have already seen that dn by dt is equal to rn that we have seen in the exponential growth but in this case we have to include the carrying capacity part so we will add this part k minus n divided by k since we have to consider carrying capacity we cannot ignore that part now you can see that exponential growth this red color graph this is exceeding this carrying capacity line right which is practically not possible